Hey, what's up, fam? Welcome back to the channel. How are you guys doing today? Happy Saturday to you. Hopefully you are being productive. <laughs> I know I'm trying to be. I got up early this morning, took my daughter to work, went walking. And y'all, we had a great time at graduation. Um, I have not edited that video yet, um, but I will uh, hopefully really soon edit that video. But I did post in my community and I haven't gone back to read any comments if there are any. And I will do that later today. But I have some news I need to bring to you guys because there is a lot that is happening that is going to affect millions and millions of people in multiple countries. Um, what's going on? Um, I don't even know if it can be prevented because it's so deep in, but we are on the verge of being in world war three we we pretty we are at war um by helping ukraine and by doing all these other things that we're doing to help taiwan it is putting us in the middle of other people's things and it's becoming more and more dangerous for our troops and eventually dangerous for us because those countries they are not liking the fact that the US and the UK are involving themselves in other people's business. So that being said, they're working on a lot of things. I'm about to tell you exactly what China is doing and what Russia is doing. And I have not done a story like this in a while. So please hit that share button because I need this to get out to more people. It does help the channel. Also hit that like button because that too helps the channel grow and helps the video get pushed in the analytics. Otherwise, YouTube will bury this video. So force their hands by hitting that like button. Try to help the video get you know, over 500 likes, over a thousand likes or whatever, if you possibly can leave comments down below and let me know what you think. Let's get into this video. So I'm going to share, um, what is happening. We're going to start with China and thank y'all for being here on this Saturday as well. If you hear noise in the background, which it hasn't started yet, but it's about to, because my husband's about to cut the grass. Um, so as you can see from this picture, China means business. And y'all, they got these people marching to the tune of Xi Jinping <laughs> right now with their mask on. I can't imagine the heat marching with mask on, full uniforms on, boots and all of that. I can't even imagine. So it says, China is gearing up for all out war by readying a disturbing trove of mind melting weapons. And this is according to experts who are warning of what China is doing. This is a report, as you can see the date, up here, June 1st. It says it's feared that Xi Jinping regimen could use the chilling weapons to target Taiwan's forces in the event of an invasion. China's army could be used biological and cognitive weapons against its enemies. The tech could uh, see Beijing control the minds of its enemies. Y'all need to know they're trying to expand this outside of Taiwan. Okay. Um, let's get to the article. This is the Taiwanese army right here. It says have been stealing themselves for an um, attack from China for years. We report last year on developments inside China's People's Liberation Army, which point to the terrifying new tech that they have. Xi's forces are thought to be looking at cognitive and biological weapons designed to make their enemies fall asleep, impair alertness, and damage decision making. Now, China experts have spoken to the sun about the development of the game changing weapons and warned of a terrible, brave new world. That's to say the least y'all. 
John Lee, a senior fellow at Hudson Institute and former national security advisor in the Australian government, said the new weapons are designed to defeat the enemy's mind because secrecy and transparency forms a big part of Chinese policy. It is difficult to judge where exactly the um, regime might be at in developing these weapons. But Lee added that there is evidence to suggest the Chinese People's Liberation Army is producing these weapons, y'all. And security expert uh, told the Sun the threat of such formidable tech should be taken very seriously indeed. He also says that microwaves can be used to cause cognitive fog, dizziness, loss of balance, anxiety, and nausea as a weapon. Not the microwave, y'all. Not the microwave. They could be aimed at a single specific target, um, says the Taiwan's military control. Research group, the CCP Biothreats Initiative, first shared the alarming development of China's cognitive warfare last year. Uh, John also told The Sun that Beijing won't place any kind of limits on itself while developing these types of weapons. So they don't care about this whole checks and balances thing. They're going to do what they want to do. Soft kill radio waves. These use electromagnetic energy for non-lethal attacks such as to induce drowsiness or cause cognitive impairment, anti-sleep glasses. What? They can bolster the usefulness of their own troops by promoting alertness and wakefulness. So they want to keep their troops up as this picture over here shows this graduate yawning. Um, China has long been working on, hold on, China has long been working on its use of AI for military purposes. Experts have previously warned the sun about the country's use of AI to influence elections and target their enemies. So look, for more cyber attacks to hit as we get closer and closer to November um, because it's going to be a heated race. There we go. Here's the article. Baranchik, who works for the pro-Putin Moscow Rushstrat Institute, said Russian forces would eliminate the nuclear potentials of Britain and France. This would weaken Europe significantly within just 24 hours of a nuclear World War III targeting Britain and France's nuke submarines and warheads. So they, they can shut it down in 24 hours. Designed to pull out the nuclear teeth of Britain and France, Baranchik says it would seriously damage NATO's nuclear power. He boasted on the telegram, instead of a protracted war of attrition, in one day, we deprive France and Britain of their nuclear weapons and destroy the whole of Europe. Child, these people. It also has a store of around 200 nuclear warheads, although this is less than China, France, Russia, and the U.S. after Russia carries out Operation Unthinkable. Baranchik warns that Putin would issue an ultimatum to the U.S., NATO, and the EU. This would urge them to stop all support for Ukraine within a day or face the wrath of Russia's own tactical nuclear weapons. He said, after the successful implementation of the Operation Unthinkable, we immediately issue an ultimatum ultimatum to the United States, NATO, and the European Union to cease within 24 hours military and financial support for Kiev. Underwater boats are on alert. Oh, they know exactly what everybody doing between Greenland, Iceland, and Britain. And one or two are in the port for repairs and replenishment. Let's see. It protects not only from the light radiation of a nuclear explosion, but also from radioactive contamination. And Putin's number, um, number one crony, Dimitri has insisted the nuclear threats to come out of the president's office are not empty warnings. So this is crazy. He warned yesterday the current military conflict with the West is developing according to the worst possible scenario. So y'all, 
I hope we prepare because eventually there's going to be war on our soil. Okay. On our soil. So I will see you guys in the next video. Just want to bring you a little bit of news you can use. Let you know that, you know, these things are happening and they're happening fast. So prepare the best you can. Keep stocking up. Stay safe. Don't just stock up food and water. Definitely stock up on your safety, if you know what I mean. Um, I will see you guys in the next video. I'll call you. Hit the like button, share, 